having a fabulous day today. Today's video I'm predicting is going to be a little longish. I can sense that. So I'm going to try not to talk too much. I usually get carried away and I start talking too much. So I'm going to try not to do that today. So let's just get started. Today's video I'm going to show you a few ideas of things that you can make with shrink plastic. I know there are quite a few videos out there showing you how to make pins like lapel pins out of shrink plastic. There's so many other things that you can make. I know it's super fun to make them, and once you have the things kind of small, they're so cute, but what do you do with them? So today I'm gonna show you quite a few ideas, and actually these earrings that you can see that I'm wearing, I just made them with shrink plastic, and I think they turn out kinda cute. So I'm gonna make you quite a few other things. I hope you enjoy it, so stick around. Let's just get started. So shrimp plastic comes in little sheets like this, it's super thin and you can draw right on it. It is perfect for tracing because as you can see it's kind of transparent. Um, if you buy this kind that I have right here, if you can see it has like a pattern, it's not totally smooth. So with this kind that is sanded, you can use color pencils or pastels. Um, but if it's not, if it's totally smooth and clear, then you have to use permanent markers. But either way, it, it works the same way. So you draw whatever you want on it, whatever design you want, and that is the best part, that you can do whatever you want. So once you have it on here, you put it in the oven, and that's it. It's finished, and it's super fun to watch. So let me show you a few things that I made. So I made these bows that I want to make like studs, but look how big they are right now. Also, these cicada wings that I think are so pretty and they're gonna be long earrings. This amor sign, amor means love in Spanish and it's actually my maiden name initials. So that's me, amor. And I'm gonna make a bracelet. If it shrinks enough, it's gonna go like right there. A butterfly that I'm gonna make it into a ring. And look how big it is right now. These charms that are going to go in some Alex and Annie Inspire bracelets. How about this Harry Potter tie? I'm gonna make a necklace out of it. It looks kind of cute, but it's going to be tiny later. How cute is this balloon animal? If it turn out, turns out to be small enough, I want to make a barrette. And I made a second pair of cicada wings because I think they're so pretty. And I'm going to make a barrette. I don't know how that's going to look, but we'll see. Well, they are wings. These super small and extra, extra cute Senriero characters. I think they are so cute because they're kind of wonky and they're so tiny. So I can wait to see how small they're going to be after they're baked. This one I'm excited about is like an antique silhouette drawing of Barbie and I'm gonna make a pin out of it, a lapel pin. I got these designs from David Gilson. He's an illustrator and he designed these super cute Disney princess. I love them because they all have their sidekicks so I drew some of them and I'm gonna make pins. And if you didn't think that sun rare characters could get any cuter, you were wrong. Because look at this super kawaii version of sun rare characters. They're super cute. And look how big it is. Almost as big as my face. And I punch a hole over here. I don't know if you can see it. Because I'm gonna make a keychain. This super colorful mandala. Oh, there is so much glare. I'm sorry, but look how pretty it is. And it's as big as my face. 
bigger than my face. And I'm gonna try to make a bowl with these. I think it's gonna be really pretty. I like this so much. I made it even bigger because I wanna make another bowl out of these super cute Sanrio characters. Once I had all of the designs ready, I put them on a sheet of parchment paper and I baked them at 325 degrees for about two, two and a half minutes. Watching them shrink, it is so cool. I could do this all day and the results are so pretty, I am obsessed. Look how small they ended up, so cute. So I'm wearing a few things that I showed you earlier when they were really large, well, when they were large, and now they have shrunk, and I want to show you how small they turn out. So these are the little studs. Look how cute they look. I think they turn out super, super cute. Look at the Harry Potter tie. Remember how big it was? Look at it now. How cute does that look? I love it. The little charms, the Disney theme charms that I made for bracelets, I put them in bracelets, kind of like Alex and Ani bracelets made by me. So you can make your own. And of course they're plastic, they don't look the same, but I think they look really cute. Also, the Amor bracelet, look how small it is now. And I put it in a little leather thing look at it cute huh you it was a pretty long video but I hope you enjoyed it I hope you like all of these ideas 
of super cute and awesome things that you can make only using shrink plastic. I think it is awesome and I'm gonna keep making many of these. So I hope you make your own. Tell me in the comments what you think, which one, which idea was your favorite. If you like this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and if you haven't already, subscribe to Robin and Rose. See you next time. Bye!